Good morning, and thank you for joining us on the show. I'm Lillian Muli, and this morning we have a huge celebrity on the show. You've probably been seeing her on your social, Chef Maliha Mohammed, 95-hour cookathon Guinness World Record champion. <laughs> yes. And she's with us in studio this morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. 95 hours is three days. Um, almost, almost four. four and a half days. Almost four and a half days. Yes. So tell me, what motivated you to get into the cookathon? What recipes did you make in all of those days? Where did all that food go? <laughs> um, um, I was inspired to do the Guinness World Record because back in 2019, I did it. And then another chef took away my title by cooking 87 hours. Mm -hmm. So because of the corona and the pandemic year and all the recession, I told myself, you know, I will go come back in 2023 cooking with two world record titles. Yes. So the first one is in August and then the next one will be on November 15th. So you're going at it again? Yes, I will go for August. I did uh, uh, the America's record because yes. the hour to surpass was 68 hours. Mm -hmm. So for November, I will be taking Nigeria's record. Nigeria's record. Yes. Okay. Um, so what are you making for us today? I know you're Mombasa based. <laughs> Let me mean to a pilau, mahamri, <laughs> yeah. all those things. Okay. But today, um, you tell me that you're making for us a foreign yeah, recipe. Yes, you know, this recipe I used when I was doing my cooking marathon. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to make Korean beef bulgogi. Okay. And we are Korean going to beef, beef bulgogi. bulgogi. Okay. Yes, and we are going to make green rice or okay. hard rice. Okay. Yes. So um, why did you choose this particular recipe? Um, what, what is special about it? Because, you know, people are asking me like, uh, oh, this Korean beef bulgogi, um, uh, it's something new. What is all about? Yeah. In Kiswahili, to say, ma kukanga. Ah. Yeah, so it's a version of Swahili, but mm -hmm. with a twist. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, Chef Maliha, where did yes. you take all that food? And what? So we're talking about the motivation behind that, and you talked about wanting to top the the, the current record. Yes. But for you, in terms of cooking all these recipes yes. um, and wanting to build a name for yourself or make a name for yourself, what was away from the record, what was the main motivation? Um, to give back to the community. Right. Because all the food that I was cooking, mm -hmm. we were giving to the street kids, to the homeless people, and the orphanages around the vicinity okay. that I was going to be there. But cooking for four days is also quite expensive. Was this <laughs> self-sponsored? Did you have some support as you got into the cooker? Um, I had uh, supporters who were coming in, mm -hmm. like other brands, cigars, yes. okay. dollar, okay. and uh, also it came from my own pocket money as right. well, because oh. we had ingredients like nyama, samaki, mm -hmm. all those need to be accounted for, yeah. So you're a self-taught chef. Yes. Um, so no training whatsoever? Uh, no training. Mm -hmm. It's a firstborn in the family. Mm -hmm. People like, ah, well, let's know what you yeah. <laughs> So, like here in Nairobi, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the coastal delicacies are definitely my favorite. I love them. Yeah. So, we're starting with the onion. Yeah, we are going to marinate our bulgogi. First, we're going to add in our onions. I've used white onions, but even red onions is okay. You can use that. Yes. And we're going to add in our chopped uh, beef strips. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to add in our crushed uh, uh, garlic. So you throw all of that in the pot? Yeah. Uh -huh. So you either you can do it uh, overnight or uh, for four hours, or you can actually do it in an uh, instant journey, yeah. quick. Yeah. So now as we cut up the garlic, um, Chef Malia, tell me, in yes. terms of reactions to, not just locally, but across the world, yeah. um, in terms of reactions to your four-day cookathon, yes. what, what, what were some of the reviews, some of the feedback, what were people saying, how were they <laughs> reacting? Well, people were like, oh, you're taking away Chef Hilda Bass's uh, throne. Mm -hmm. I told them that, you know, this uh, title... Is for America, yeah. Because I'm I'm going against uh, America, yeah. Which is 68 hours, uh -huh. yeah. So they were like, ah, oh, it's all about Nigeria, <laughs> which is not. Yeah. Also, is that honey? Yeah, we are going to add honey. Okay. Into a mix. Now, when you say a four-day cookathon, yes. So take me through what happens. Do you get to take a break? Because when you're saying Guinness Book of World Records, yeah. are you doing this like non-stop or do you take occasional breaks to go to sleep, perhaps prepare your ingredients? How does a cookathon work? Um, uh, you know, when you're applying for a Guinness World Record, they, yes. give, they usually have to send you the rules and guidelines. Mm -hmm. So with the rules and guidelines, it will tell you what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for every 12 hour shift that I do, uh -huh. I have exactly one hour rest break. 
Wow. So within that one hour rest break, I can go to the washroom and change a new set of yes, clothes yes. and also take a power nap of 30 minutes. <laughs> Power nap. Power nap, 30 then minutes. 30 the minutes. On. Yeah. So, as we continue our conversation, what have you added? You've added some soy sauce? Yes, I've added some soy sauce. Some um, honey. Honey, uh, some um, uh, spices. Which spices? Uh, mixed yeah. spices. Mixed spices. Okay. Yeah. And some salt. I, I, and salt. I saw you opted to use sea salt instead. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. you can use any regular salt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what is interesting about this recipe, Chef, is that I'm seeing your putting all this you said you can do this overnight or yeah. you can just do it on the fly as you cook you know like meal prep you can yes. just manage everything put yes. in the tupperware mm -hmm. and then put in the fridge and stay overnight you can yeah. use it even for the next day yeah yeah okay so 12 hour cookathon and then you take what did you say a uh, one hour break yeah you take 30 minutes power nap uh -huh. and change a new set of clothes yes. you know uh -huh. and uh, i had also my muscles who will be there to massage my feet because okay. you know when yes. we're doing the marathon uh -huh. you are really going to put a uh, strain uh -huh. and stress on your feet yeah yeah and so after the four days, what what was what, what what stood out in terms of the recipes and the delicacies? Did you yeah. choose only Kenyan delicacies, or did you go um, continental? Um, what I did is I use, I cooked uh, both local Swahili mm -hmm. and international cuisine. Okay. Yeah. So we have Indian, we have Spanish, Italian, mm -hmm. Korean, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you've mixed up the green pepper yes. and all the other spices. Yeah, so now we are going to heat up my, my pan over there. Mm -hmm. and let me add a little bit of oil. And we are going to cook. Yeah. Okay. So eventually, as yeah. you proceed with also now taking on the other Nigerian record. <laughs> yes. What is the end game in all of this for you um, when you look at when you look at surpassing? Because you know how people once you beat a record, you still want to go on and go on and go on. But for you, what's the end game once you? Because I believe you're going to take it from Nigeria. <laughs> we are rooting for you as Kenyans. Thank so you. what what next after that? Um, for me, I want to put a Kenyan cuisine out, like promoting it out there. So mm -hmm. Kenyan cuisine to be in the culinary world map. Right. Yeah. Okay. And also. As a chef, I do have cooking classes. Mm -hmm. okay. So what I want to do mm -hmm. is I want to, to transition from my cooking classes to a culinary academy. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So that anyone can come in mm -hmm. with a passion. Because I can teach people how to cook. Yes. But if you don't have the heart, mm. you cannot be successful. Right. Yeah. Okay. So our pan is getting hot. And then we are going to add the ingredients. Okay. And we are going to cook it. Because I added honey. Mm -hmm. Some people, they will add brown sugar. Okay. Yeah. Which That's is an option. That's an option. Okay. What are some of the challenges that you experienced during your cookathon? Um, challenges? Yeah. I think I had a very good team. Mm -hmm. Because uh, everything that we did, we had trained before, so they knew what they were supposed to do. And I had supervisors, independent witnesses, timekeepers. Uh, my brand manager was actually there. Okay. So everybody knew what they were doing, and everybody knew their shifts as well. Mm -hmm. So timekeepers and independent witnesses, they yes. were there for four hours. Yes. My sous chefs, they were there for eight hour shifts. Okay. Yeah. So when you say you had a, a good team, yes. I mean, and forgive my ignorance, because I... I assumed that in a cookathon, yeah. the chef is the one who mans the kitchen by themselves. So yes. does this mean that um, in terms of the instructions that are outlined, you're allowed to have a team supporting you? My job is to just cook okay. during the marathon. Mm -hmm. My sous chefs, they're supposed to be doing the, all the prep work, missing place. Okay. Like, you know, cutting, dicing, yes, kneading. Yes, yes. So everything that is needed, it's ready, available for me. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I just start cooking and producing different yeah. types of food. But it's not all about cooking. So you're, I mean, you make a name for yourself, but this food that has been cooked for four days, does it taste good? Is it worth, I mean, is it worth really, really, really anybody's time? Because the thing is, yeah. yes, you've prepared all this nice pilau, yes. you've prepared biryani, you've prepared everything yeah. perhaps um, that, that you had set your mind to prepare. Yes. But is there a tasting element to it? Um, you see, everything that I cook, yeah? When I, re when I give out to my supervisor, yes. what she does is that she packs it and uh, takes it to the street kids. 
Yeah, we have a time limit. Uh -huh. So whatever food I cook, uh -huh. in my shift 12 hours, I will cook almost 45 recipes. So everything that has been cooked will be taken there. And of course, I have people coming in, yeah. celebrities, influencers yes. who came in to you see me. You should have invited me. me. I mean, for me, especially the coastal dishes, like I said. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay, that's nice. And I love yeah. the charity element yeah. uh, because that's, that's, that's very noble and of you. people come all the way from uh, wherever they are coming from. Mm -hmm. They want to taste. So they have the small sample mm -hmm. and they eat. Yeah. Oh, I love the aroma that's coming from that. <laughs> I, can, I can sense the spices. Yeah. So you say that you're a self-taught chef and yes. you'd like to... Uh, begin your academy? Are you already yes. training people? Are people already taking yeah. your classes? Most of my students, mm -hmm. newlyweds and brides to be. Yeah. I'll take when I call you, but it is our mother in law. I say, I'm Toto, I want you to pick her. Maybe it's you could pick out any phone. It's a bit. It's a specific for a chapati ship in Kenya. Africa. Yeah, map of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes, yeah, so you have new clients signing up now. Yes. yes. Okay, that's 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 great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the next intake is in September, so those who come to me. So are these yeah. online classes or are they physical no, classes? No. What I do is uh, I do cooking. Okay. Um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, practical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mostly practical. Uh huh. So you have people in attendance, or is there also an online option? So as is when you're in Nairobi, yeah. Itakuwa. Will we have to come to Mombasa? How does that work? Um, uh, I usually conduct master classes okay. yeah so those who are back in Nairobi yeah we usually set up like a group session okay and then when the, I, I come not to pick up a mode ah good yeah yeah because I think that physical interaction is very important exactly uh, exactly yeah so who is your inspiration who which chef um the world over it could even be local yeah who do you look up to I have I have quite uh, like four or five of them mm -hmm. but um Internationally, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Okay, good, yeah. yeah. And uh, locally, I can say amongst the five top five, the mm. first one is Chef Kiran Jetwa. Ah, good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of Mombasa delicacies, yes. uh, what would you say is your prime and most favorite recipe? A quick one that you can share with us. In Mombasa? Yeah, no, yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm biased. Like I said, for me, the coastal dishes. Yeah. Yani Mimi, I can take a flight to go to Mombasa just because I've missed... Biryani. I've missed biryani or I've missed pilau. Yeah. And there's a way they make it there. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, we have some restaurants here, of course, that are coastal and yes. we appreciate that. But that whole coastal experience is yeah. usually amazing for me. So which of your which which is your most favorite coastal recipe for me i can say samako kupaka mm -hmm. samako kupaka you know yeah. uh, fish uh, grilled fish smothered in coconut sauce ah, good yeah okay that's one of my favorites mm -hmm. of course biryani pilau mandi what we is mandi a, it's it's like pilau mm -hmm. and biryani mm -hmm. combined ah okay yeah. okay <laughs> So you were taught by your grandmother, yeah. you said? Yeah, uh, you know, over the holidays, mm -hmm. we, we go, school is closed, mm -hmm. and we, people are going to see their grannies, their uncles, their aunties. So for me, my grandmother who loves to cook, Malihan John 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 John. Yeah. Well, random kubwa. So yeah. it was like, random kubwa, mm. okay, wajipeleka <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. And now it has amounted to this. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm sure she, she must be sleeping now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not watching. Yeah, yeah, but I know some other people, like my aunties, my uncles, they'll be telling her, like, you know, Maliha will cook TV. Yeah. yeah. Most people say that chefs work because you've been cooking all day, weekend and Yumbani, you just want to put your legs up yeah. and be served. So do you still translate this at home, all these gourmet meals and... Because most chefs that I interact with actually tell me, yeah. they don't want, they don't, they don't, because you've been interacting with food all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, me, I think when I go home, mm -hmm. I have I have a 19 year old daughter. Okay. So she does all the cooking. Ah, so you've passed on the skill. Ah, lazima. Mm. Anatoka kwangu. Yeah. Lazima juu kupika. Apende, sipende. Yeah. Oh, so wonderful. I like to have a nice, nice cup of tea uh -huh. and I just rest. Yeah. Yeah, that would be my time. And you've chosen to brand yourself um, with this Kenyan um, chef's attire. Yes. Yeah. Talk, yeah, talk to us about that. This is intentional, the, the, who designed it, and what's the thinking behind having the Kenyan flag on you? Um, I was born and raised in Kenya. Yeah. So my purpose in Kenya is to promote the Kenyan cuisine. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want to do right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love Kenya and I'll die, with, uh, die for Kenya. And yeah, mm, okay. this, we have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Great.
So, um, mind us about the recipe for the viewers who are joining us right now. What yeah. Are we making today? Uh, and take today, us through the ingredients. Yeah, today we are making a Korean beef bulgogi. Yeah. Um, the ingredients that I have used are beef steak, cut in, there's no bones, beef steak cut into strips. Uh, bell peppers, white onions, we had honey, we had mixed spices, salt. Uh, um, uh, once this has uh, reduced and uh, the water is reduced and caramelized, we are going to add a little bit of acidic, that is uh, lemon. Okay. Some people, they use white vinegar, which is okay. Because there's so many other different versions of bulgogi, but yeah, we can have this version. What, what, what easy. element does the lemon add or the vinegar? Tanginess. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. ilo chachu, ilo mm. chakikula naske, ilo chachu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So have you interacted with the with your other um, chefs, the ones that are currently holding the title? Have you been in touch? Have you been in communication with them? And have you shared your experiences with each other? Um, I've talked to the one in America, Ricky Lampkin. He sent my uh, congratulations to me via Instagram handle. Um, but I've not talked to Chef Hilda Bassi or uh, Chef La Lata Tandon of Mumbai. Okay. Yeah. Right. But Ricky Lampkin, yes, we have communicated before. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes when you're having this Korean beef bulgogi, what you can do is you can actually have it with tacos in the morning for uh, breakfast. Okay. Yeah. And what type of beef? Does it have to be a tender? Does it have to be a, like, what beef? Because, you know, we have top side, we have yeah. silver side, we have the fillet. Which one would you? I, I recommend mostly fillet. Okay. Fillet steak is going to be best for cooking this. Because it's tender. Yeah, it's much more tender. Okay. Yeah. Right. And now for the rice. Um, yes. Because a lot of people get the rice cooking wrong. <laughs> Give us some tips around cooking rice and make sure not to mchele ule mchele moja 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 ahead of time yeah yeah it will uh, make the process of cooking much more faster in hot water yeah no 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 just plain water okay. tap water but hot or mild or, or cold or tap. doesn't matter tap water okay yeah you can just soak it mm -hmm. and then you're just going to do whatever you're going to do by the time you cook it yes you the process of cooking is going to take less oh, okay. and each and every rice mm -hmm. has its got its own cooking time yeah so uh, one cup to two cups of water it's going, it's going to be different. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, lazimu kisie. You kisie in Kiswahili means una measure with your eyes. No, you can't, but that's for professionals. <laughs> measure with your eyes how? You tell me to measure with my <laughs> well, eyes. Well, practice makes permanent, you know. <laughs> Not practice makes perfect. Practice makes permanent. Okay, so you measure with your eyes. Yeah, measure with your eyes. Yeah, for me, I just know that one cup of rice is two cups of water. At least that, that one I know. <laughs> But some other types of brands rice, eh? yeah. it, you can actually use one cup of rice, one and a half cups of water. Mm. Yeah, it, okay. it does So also change. the quality of the rice matters. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly, okay. yeah. So, Chef Maliha, in terms yes. of online presence and social media, yeah. how have you used that to spread your message or to reach out to people in terms of your cookathon and your journey? Um, are you on socials? Are people, are you on YouTube? Are you, like, how are people interacting with your content? Uh, people are, do, do engage with me. Oh, yeah. Even when you're going to TikTok live, people usually come in. Mm -hmm. Instagram live, people usually enter. I mean, uh, when you're for doing for your country, people all, they want to support. Also, during the yeah. cookathon, you were live? Yes, we were live. We have to stream live. For four days? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And also, we, we, we had a camera rolling in mm -hmm. all the time okay. for that 95 hours. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of work to it, but yeah, the support that I got from people outside was immense. Yeah, I saw a number yeah. of celebrities actually backing <laughs> you up. Yes. Um, I saw a lot of Kenyan celebrities coming out yeah. and supporting you. Are these people you knew before? Um, I only want to buy Nimeona too when you social media wow. handles. Wow. So when you actually see them, uh -huh. you're like, oh my god. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was happy. And that's the, they spirit, that's the yeah. spirit with Kenyans. We really support each other and that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. So has the Guinness Book of World Records recognized you? Have they um have they reached out? Um have they 
recognized your efforts and your 95 hour cookathon. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, once you have done your cooking marathon, what they do, what you do is you upload the evidence to them. And uh, my account in the website here, okay, okay. it takes for them about six to 12 weeks mm -hmm. for the okay. review and for them to come and tell you, okay, you are now officially verified. Right. Yeah. Okay. But if I want to speed up the process of review, I have to pay them mm -hmm. some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then it will take only five to six working days. Okay. Yeah. But for now, we have already sent our evidence. Mm -hmm. We are just sitting ducks. Yeah, and for now, nobody <laughs> has done the 95 hours yeah. apart from you. So we celebrate you and we're so, so excited as a country. Thank you so much. Yeah. So this additional spice is for the rice? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm, um, um, I'm going to prepare for the rice. Okay. Yeah. We just... We're going to finish just I now. noticed that you poured out the, um, what is Ma it called, the, the marine, broth? Yes. The broth from the beef. Yeah. Are you going to use that later? Uh, or do you want it to just be dry? I want it to be dry because uh -huh. I don't want it to be soupy. Okay. I want it to be dry. Mm -hmm. But with this broth, people can use it uh, to set it aside at yeah. home. And you can use it for maybe your beef stew. Mm. You don't throw away. Yeah. No wastage. Yani. <laughs> but what you call it, our, some of the regions in Kenya, <laughs> yes. when I'm supu supu. Yeah. some of the regions in Kenya will spoil patia soup. They don't understand I'm what you're serving them. Even when I'm cooking pilau <laughs> yeah. in Mombasa, mm -hmm. the only soup is be like, what soup? <laughs> it's supposed to be dry. Even pilau, soup. Okay, we'll let the people eat tomato in a kachumbari. I want to take a soup. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I love your energy, your bubbly. This is clearly <laughs> what you were born to do. Yeah, yeah I love cooking. Mm -hmm. I tell people, like, if you have the passion and you, you put in the work, then you'll do it. You'll continue. You'll, you'll be successful. So commercially, are you hired yeah. as a chef? Do you have a restaurant? What, how do you share this art with uh, people who want to sample your delicacies? So one thing which I do is uh, I have cooking classes. Mm -hmm. I teach. Yes. Another yes. thing, I have, uh, I'm, I'm a culinary judge. Okay. So when people have their competition local, mm -hmm. they call me and yeah. I go there to the event and I judge there. Okay. So their competitors. All right. And also I do outside catering as mm -hmm. well. Okay. Some people also hire me as their private chef. Mm -hmm. I go with them in vacations or safari. They oh. take along me. They enjoy. I cook for oh, them. Guinness Book of World Record holder to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you're, saying, <laughs> you're saying that you go on holidays with people and I know yeah. that there are chefs who do that. So yes. you take up a villa and a chef comes in to cook every day. Exactly. But who, are you affordable? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to talk again, you might. I'm here to talk again, you might attend to you. Yeah. That's what I see. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see now, it's turning to caramelize. Where to orange? Where do I see the to orange? Yeah. I was asking you about taste, and you were looking at me like, really? Of course, I've, I've tasted this food, so I know it's good. I'm to chew it up. Mm. Oh, it smells heavenly. It smells great. And this is easy. You can have it for supper, for dinner. It doesn't for take breakfast. too long as well it because I can see it's almost ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you can add, make it spicy. Okay. Because I like spice. Me too. I love chili. Yeah. yeah. I will add like chili flakes on it mm. and it will be like. Wow, okay. the showstopper. Yeah. Yeah. Can this beef um, recipe? Yeah. Can you still do it with chicken if you want? An, if you want to yeah. use a different, perhaps you want the same recipe but yeah. with chicken. You can have with uh, beef bulgogi, chicken bulgogi. Okay. You can actually also have with um, veggie bulgogis as well. Okay. So different type of veggies you can add. Okay. Yes, yeah, I think it's more about being. Creative in the kitchen mm. and not limited. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you can add so many things. Remove here. Yummy. You know, this is an honor. I get to sample a dish by the cookathon champion, <laughs> Chef Maliha. It looks amazing. And I love the pop of colors, yeah. the green pepper, the white onion. And we are going to add a little bit of sesame seeds. Okay. That 
that's for the garnish? Yeah. Okay. You, we have to add sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is going to be your bulgogi. Very nice. Yeah. Can I taste? Yes, you can. It's ready for tasting. Thank you. Mm. Let me do it with the lemon. Lemon, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Mm. Very nice, very nice chef. I love it. Thank you so Good much. Mm. Yeah. Um, so now we are going to make our rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where's the other sufuria? Yeah. yeah. We need more water. We need more water. So, Chef Maleha, um, yeah. 95 hours, um, what would be your ideal and how long can you stretch this? Because you're going at it again. <laughs> so, how long can you stretch this for? Um, for me, I think it's all about the mindset. When I put my mind into something, yeah. uh, I tell myself it is not over until I say it is over. Okay. So we, right now I'm doing the training. For every five days, who want to find out my training? Mm -hmm. And then for Saturday and Sunday, yeah. na pumzika. Okay. So that's what I do right now. Mm -hmm. And of course, I need to surpass the 93 hour mark. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, the 93 hour mark. Yeah, yeah, the 93 hour mark. Once you surpass it, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, it's going to be good. So we have to boil our water. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add salt and we're going to cook that within So you talked about different minutes. recipes. Do these yes. involve paste? Did these involve pastries in your cookathon? Um uh, the pastries which I did maybe are fried like enfanadas mm -hmm. or uh, taquitos okay. or chapatis mm -hmm. but uh, not sweet dish. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about savory and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hot kitchen savory. Okay. Um like the to go pick a cook wakupaka, pilau like 10 types of pilau. Mm -hmm. Oh, ten there's types 10 of, types of pilau. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you mean 10 types? of pilau tell me about the 10 types of pilau uh for pilau you have like chicken pilau beef pilau mutton pilau fish pilau oh. kebab pilau uh pilau njeri to sim sahau yeah we have tomato pilau mm -hmm. yeah we have like uh, afghanistan pilau yeah so there's so many pilaus that people can actually cook. Okay. So every Friday, see, yeah, my pilau pekiaki, yeah. so fry, ah, okay. different types of pilau. Okay, yeah. la tua, I mean, I'm <laughs> loving this dish. It is so tender, the beef and the sesame. And yes. So now, if you do marinate it overnight, mm. it's going to have that wow effect. And the lemon adds yeah. a nice tanginess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes you can add like maybe red bell pepper, green bell pepper, okay. yellow pepper to have that nice pop of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so different types. Okay. Yeah. So we have our for our rice. Uh, green rice. Mm -hmm. We are going to use the coriander. Mm -hmm. We are going to use the bell pepper, the white onion, the garlic. Yeah. Yeah. This is thrown in after you cook the rice or with the rice we, we, once i've cooked the rice mm -hmm. and then we are going to add in this one yeah. at the last stage okay yeah so if you do this earlier on mm -hmm. all the taste and the aroma is going to go away okay. by boiling the water so for aspiring chefs Chef yeah. Maliha, what would you tell them in terms of your journey your self-taught so this is in the heart i mean this yeah. is passion for you yeah but there are people who somewhere along the journey decide you know what yeah. I want to try out my hand in this. What yeah. would you tell them? I'll tell them that, you know, uh, from the age of uh, 20 to 30, be like a sponge, mm -hmm. act like a sponge. Go and learn from your mentors, work on your skills, craft your skill, master your skill. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. so you need to do, have one thing mm -hmm. that you're, you need to have one thing for you to be able to 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 work on yourself just work on yourself work on your craftsmanship mm -hmm. and yeah you're going to propel to success mm -hmm. money will come definitely yeah. mm -hmm. money will come but once you know what you do and how you do it mm -hmm. you're going to be better now chef maliha i was reading about your story and you talked about some very challenging moments when you wanted to give up 
yeah. share with us about that just generally and how overcoming those obstacles yeah. and actually achieving this yes. has influenced your life, impacted your life and that of people around you. Let's speak about the trying moments first. Yeah. Um, I think when I was doing the marathon at my 88 hour, 89th hour, I started crying. Because you know my body is paining, mm. my mind is so exhausted, and I just like you know what, um, I've done this. I know where I've come from. I know where, where people used to tell me they're going to do something. Oh, you do it, you do it, and then they don't invest in you. So you are living, you you are there being hanging. Like, what am I doing? Is it okay? Do do I continue? Do I proceed? Mm -hmm. Then I I, re I remember because my mom died with her dream of becoming an air hostess. My daughter told me, mom. Do you want to die just like the way Bibi died because she wanted to become an air hostess and you are going to live your dream like that? Mm. And then I told myself, you know, people are depending on me. One, my daughters, yeah. they're depending on me. My, my, my community is depending on me. Mm -hmm. Kenya at large, the women in Kenya and around the world, they're looking at me, they're like, you know, if I give up, it's going to be over for me. Mm -hmm. So with that resilience and persistence and the determination that I had, I told her, no, not for Kenya. Oh. I'm going to do this. That's wonderful. That's yes. wonderful. So for your daughter and the people around you, the yes. impact of you achieving this and yeah. now being on national television, everybody is speaking about Chef Maliha, yeah. this big sh celebrity chef who I hope I can afford. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, my yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how did yeah. that impact them? I mean, you you surpassed all those challenges and the the you know the fatigue and and, and yes. you know just going back to your childhood memories of of your mom not achieving her dreams. How did that yeah. impact the lives of your your child, for instance? Yeah. How many children do you have, by the way? I have two children. Okay. Both girls. Are 19. they watching? Yeah. They, are. Hi. They, they, <laughs> they have to be watching right now. Okay. Uh, it, what are it, their names? Uh, Zahra and Suhaima. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So for them, they like, I mean, of course, Nilvo Regen Yumbani, what I'm telling you, ah, Sasare, any song called Sasare, ah, we were hammering you tired, we were crazy, when you find me, how na pesa, we all a pesa. <laughs> so things like that, you're like I'm trying to say, no, 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 no. Yeah. You know, it's me. I'm still a, I'm a very humble person, mm -hmm. and I love people, yeah. and I work with people a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. So with that, also my my friends and my family, the DMs are going over the roof. Yeah. yeah. Please pass me a survey to mention Kesha Mpakanalia. So okay, so big celebrity now at home. <laughs> um, okay. How much? How much rice is that? Um, um, is it two cups? Is it a cup? Uh, it's a it's a cup. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. a cup right now. I'm going to reduce the water so that we can speed up the cooking process. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for you, it's so easy. A lot of people struggle with making the perfect rice. <laughs> mm. And a lot of people they like to stir a lot. Mm. They stir like crazy. Yeah. I tell them, you know what? You have reduced the water. Let it sit. Let yeah. it just do it. And just let it do its magic. What if any magic here? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to continue doing it slowly, slowly. It's going to be okay. Yeah. But don't know again. We can't talk about it. Ah, Mama Mia. They are in a Swahili homestead, yeah. which I can say. Yeah. We keep Peter to catch Kaili with Chochoro. The allies. When you hear, ah, we are a pika. You know, what does that mean? Because no, when they cook, they when they stir, mm -hmm. when they stir, ah, you see, right? Ah, oh, you pick, ah, oh, you. <laughs> yeah, you, we know by that, yeah. Okay. And also okay. the the aroma, the smell. You know, we like to work with spices. Mm. Yeah. And that's the thing about coastal dishes, the spices. Yeah. You know, people come to Kenya, people visit the country, yes. and they want to taste our African food. Yes. And truly, truly, I think the coastal dishes are at the top, or at least the top three in terms of that taste. Yes. Kuna nyamachua mandeo, I mean, yeah. when you talk about Kenya, yeah. but then also the coastal dishes, pilau, chapati, mm. all of those things, yeah. they really stand Mara out. Nazi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sabako mm -hmm. kupaka, chicha wa nazi. Yeah. yeah. So are we expecting, so you talked about your culinary classes. Yes. Um, and of course, um, you know, being a, a, a chef that can be hired. Yeah. But are we expecting perhaps a recipe book from Chef Maliha? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. um, right now, 
now Nico Naunda. I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm creating the recipe mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so that um, uh, people out there with with asking me, do you have recipe books? I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I do have recipe books, mm -hmm. and uh, which are going to be launched in December. Yeah, yeah. So where can people reach you? How can people find you? Uh, in terms of if they want to interact, if they want to join the, your master class, yes. like you said, you usually have. How can people interact with you? All my social media handles, Twitter, mm -hmm. Snapchat, uh, Facebook, yeah. Instagram handles, mm -hmm. um, Chef Maliha Mohammed official. Okay. Yeah, so people can have them. My numbers are there also mm -hmm. where people can reach out to me, DM me. Yeah. And yeah, we'll communicate more. Mm. Yes. And you know what I love about cooking and I, for myself or at least eating home food yes. is that you're able to monitor how much oil you use how much because you know when you eat out yes you really don't know how much oil you're, you're, you're consuming so for me i'm very very keen on learning to cook yeah. as is the case i'm sure with many other ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh, because you're able then to monitor how much oil you're you're consuming Indefinitely. or whether it is even fresh oil yeah. yeah so there are some other recipes that require a little bit of oil yeah. to be added uh -huh. but you know once you have cooked and then the, uh, the the curry or the stew, you'll see that the oil has surfaced. Mm -hmm. You know that, that the curry has been cooked properly. Okay. So that's an indication. Ah. So you can just scoop out with a ladle or a spoon mm -hmm. and remove the excess oil, yeah. which is fine. So when you on a you can so you can make oil. <laughs> so, um, in terms of sponsorship, you talked about um, yes. you know going through trying moments in yeah. terms of people because this requires support. I mean, yes. a cookathon yeah. is not easy. The amount of food um, yeah. involved, uh, the amount of just investment involved. Yes. So you talked about people not keeping their word yeah. and not um, you know. So these are some of the challenges that um, you experienced during the cookathon. Um, uh, or is it something that you've encountered in your journey as a chef? As a chef, you, you encountered so many people telling you that I'm going to do this for you, I'm going to do that for you. Took up Hamoja, that's the word they like mm. to use, took up Hamoja. Took up Hamoja. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what, it is okay. So I will not judge them. Yeah. Uh, maybe the, something has happened or, mm -hmm. you know. Then stuff happens. So yeah, I'm talking about future now prospects. Yeah. Would you require support in terms of achieving what it is that you're now going for, which is beating that? How many hours did you say? Ninety what? Ninety five hours. Ninety five hours. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ninety five hours. Would what type of support would be required in 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 in, in such a case? Um, uh, you know, when other brands come in, you know, by using their products, that is the support where people are going to be, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, like dollar flour, oil, cigars, tropical heat, mm -hmm. such things when they come together, it will, it will uh, create a, a nice, uh, you know, opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it will empower other people out there mm -hmm. to cook more. So for aspiring chefs, like I had asked you, can someone live, can someone make a living being a chef? Is it a career that for those who are interested that yeah. pays well, yeah. that people can actually um, put in their time because in terms of looking at, and you know jobs are not there nowadays. Yes. So when you talk about people that are budding chefs, yeah. um, do you think that this is a direction that younger people or anybody who is interested should can pursue in terms of, yeah, people do. Right now, we have so many online uh, businesses that yes. people are doing. Yes. And with that, uh, they create their own platform. They create their own online business. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you start from humble beginnings. Yeah. Start from up, down, going up. Mm -hmm. And consistency and yeah. work, hard work will pay off. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've noticed, for instance, your colleague in Mombasa, Chef Ali, he has really come up. He has really come up. Um, doing this and so yeah that's 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 admirable it actually does does make a difference and it does pay um so where are we with the rice um we are two minutes away from the rice to be fully cooked because mm. uh, we don't want it to be all dante okay yeah all dante meaning any kidogo ngumu kidogo meiva right i see <laughs> i don't know what your friend is telling you <laughs> she's distracting you i'm going to pick it <laughs> so um what would you what would be your parting words chef maliha as we as we begin to close as we serve our rice and enjoy our meal yes what would you what would be your parting remarks for today um i will tell people like you know go out there learn you know work hard on your skills you know things will come mm -hmm. opportunities will going to emerge you know but don't give up 
Don't give up on your dream. Protect your dream. Because this is your dream that you are you're fighting for. Yeah. Nobody else is going to fight for your dream but yourself. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is be phenomenal or be forgotten. Be so. phenomenal. I love that. Yeah. Be, be phenomenal, phenomenal mm -hmm. or be forgotten. You decide yeah. which path you are going to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are almost there. Since you're going to use the same pan. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to cut. Oh, you, so you have to pre-fry the yeah. vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just uh, one or two minutes mm -hmm. and it's going to be okay. Yeah. I think I'm cooking this tonight. <laughs> I have I have all the ingredients in the house, so yeah. this is what I'm cooking tonight. Yeah. It's very quick, very easy to do. Yeah, very quick. And simple and ingredients. Yes. Yeah. I tell people, you know, when you're cooking, it's not a chore. Mm. It is a necessity for you to eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so survival. Enjoy it, enjoy just it. enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy yeah. It. I mean, because most people feel like most people feel like cooking is a yeah. is a chore. That is true. Yeah, most people think like that. And I know I'm going to prove people wrong, mm -hmm. but because when you organize yourself and coming in November 15, when I'm going to cook for the longest cooking marathon by an individual, mm -hmm. surpassing the 93 hours of Nigeria's record title the time. Yeah, I'll show people that you can once you organize yourself, you know, you can elevate everything that you're cooking. Let's talk about the upcoming. November event. Yes. Walk us through what we are expecting to see from Chef Malia. Um, you are going to expect to see so many emotions, you know, mm -hmm. and so many delicacies and uh, cuisines that I'm going to be cooking to highlight my 20 years of cooking experience. Yeah. So it will be showcasing that and also showcasing the talent of other people. My sous chefs also, they're going to be there, mm -hmm. Chef Efara, Chef Yusuf. Yeah. And, uh, you know, these people who are going to be my my backup, uh, you know, mm -hmm. right hand men. Yes, yes, yeah? yes. They're going to be there. And I know I want to empower people, you know. Those who are watching me right now, they're in their homes, they're sitting, they're doing whatever they're doing, to empower them. Mm -hmm. Get up and do, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. There's an African proverb that says, uh, a gazelle who, when wakes up in the morning, at the sun dawn, yeah, what he, what he thinks that I have to run or I will be eaten. Yeah. A lion, when it wakes up in the morning, it says, I have to run or I'll starve because I need to hunt. Yeah. You wake up in the morning and run. Yeah. Wow, that's powerful, Chef Maliha. So, so, una pika, una misemo, you're just <laughs> all, you're, you're, all, <laughs> you're like three people in one. <laughs> so, November, Chef Maliha, I mean, yes. you've just completed this nine, 90 plus. Yeah. Our cookathon. Yes. November is only a couple of months away. Utawa is a kweli. Kweli it is I've been dreaming and obsessing about this since December 2022. Was this the day I, would, I had planned for sending my application. Yes. So with that, I can say like, yeah, of course. I'm ready wow. for that. I'm ready. Strong, strong woman. Yeah. Okay, now, so now we are going to... Now we are President Ruto Pialisema. Mm-hmm. Alisema? Alisema, whoever breaks the world record. Yeah. Kuna pesa zinakuna. So, <laughs> yeah, pesa yeah, yeah, pesa motivation sana. pia kubwa Simona, hapo. your neighbors are not wrong. Wanasema <laughs> 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 huu mchizi wetu squeeze ya mefika. Sitayari wa shenda bia wa shenda tumanya paka picha, paka <laughs> video ya President Ruto. Wanasema, whoever breaks the world record, tutampatia milioni tano na nyumba. Mm -hmm. Sasa mimi nikivuja record bili itakuaje double <laughs> double the price. I mean that's fantastic and we really 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 are rallying behind you. Yes. Mimi nitakuwa hapo, I'll be online, I will be watching, I will be supporting because it's quite incredible. Those will be now like what 5 days? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um I think more than 5 days. About a week, actually. But we are going to give people the suspense. Yes. Because when you watch one, you say, "Ah, what does that mean?" Vita na oga. So we are going to say, oh, okay. our, the current record holder." Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So we are just going to say, you know what? Wait for the time to come." Yeah.
I mean, we're leading in the marathons right now, so... Kenya I mean, produces Kenya, yeah, the Kenya. greatest marathoners of the world. Yes. And now we are producing the greatest cooking marathoners of the world. Fantastic. I love it. Like I mean, Kwakamba, you know, we don't have so much variety. <laughs> so <laughs> we're yet to see a cookathon coming. I mean, I mean, just no pun intended. <laughs> but um, yeah, the variety of dishes. Um, yes. Is, so right is, now I have the garlic, the onion, the bell peppers. Yeah. We're going to add in our coriander. Coriander. Dania. Yes. These are locally available ingredients. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you look at recipe books, Chef Maliha, what yes. discourages people is that, Sasa hii mtatua wapi? Where will I get this? What yeah. is this? What is, you know, so many um, fancy ingredients. But what I love about this recipe is that all these are things that are Ex easily available. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to add in our rice. And you cook so calmly and peacefully. <laughs> were you playing music in the background as you were doing your cooking? <laughs> uh, I told them, you know what? Yeah. When you guys are quiet, my mind is going to start talking on its own. Yeah. So I need you guys to be talking to me and, uh, you know, mm. saying things for me to hear. Yeah. Or I'll just shut down. I'll just go like this. Yeah, I can imagine. And I'm cooking. Yeah. So... We're going to have leave that for two minutes only, mm -hmm. then we are, we are done. Okay. Yeah. Cooking has to be like an art, mm -hmm. you know. You are cooking, people are enjoying, you are enjoying the food that you are cooking as well. So when you do that, everything goes in, into ease. Yeah. Things will just flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We celebrate you and we wish you the best in your upcoming event in November. Yes. Um, of course, this is incredible what you've achieved. And what has come out very strongly for me is that there were moments when you actually just shut down and cried because it was so difficult. Yeah. But you went for it and you finished the race. Yes. And now you put the Kenyan map up there in the yes. Guinness Book of World Records. So before we eat, Chef Maliha, yes. um, say hello to your fans. Say something um, as we close. Um, about yeah. cooking in general yeah. and your uh, passion around yeah. cooking. Yeah. Um, I would like to tell people, like, you know, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining Citizen TV Breakfast Show. And I'm so happy to be here with this beautiful, gorgeous lady, as you can see. Uh, this is what we appreciate. When you're doing makeup size, it was seem to make up. But uh, anyway, um, have the passion. Have the passion in whatever. It cannot be only cooking, but in different fields. Have the passion. When you have the passion and you have the work, everything is going to fall into place. Opportunity is going to arise, and you take that opportunity and grab it and work on yourself, you know. We have the self-awareness of what you do and how you're doing things and where you have come from as well. Uh -huh. With that, everything is going to be okay. There are two things that people usually have that uh, infinite moment. Uh -huh. The first one is when you are born. Oh, yeah. And the second one is now the purpose why you are here. So when you know your purpose, when you know your calling, then everything is going to work out. I yeah. love it. Love it. You've had that aspiring. Chefs, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Na mimi pia nianza kupikia mze. Sinde kabisa, mbabas. Mbabas. Nianza kupikia mbabas. Eh, mimi sina mbabas hapa. Tunataka pizza leo, tunataka nini, nataka nini, nataka nini. Pikia mze, pikia mze. Watu wengi wananiuliza, eh, mbona hauna mume? Oh. Sijui. <laughs> but um, I mean, with all this cooking, really, yes. but then cook for yourself as well. Cook yeah. for yourself to make yourself feel nice. Yeah. I mean, it feels nice. You know, you want to eat something nice. It's expensive to eat out. Why not make yourself a nice meal? I think yes. I'll take up that challenge. Yeah. Okay, so we can serve now if it's, if it's ready. Oh, wow. So some people, they call it the green rice. Mm. Yeah. You want to check if the grain is ready by pressing on your wood. Okay. If it, it breaks, it uh -huh. will be tired. Ah, yeah. okay. You can smell the coriander. Yes. yes. Can I have 
have that? Do go have the food that? is nice and colorful. Mm. Can I have that beer? Okay. On the side. Can I have your carrots, Kidogo? Ah. To have that pop of color. Okay. Yeah. So the, the all chefs do this, like the salt bay. They all do. <laughs> wow. So this remind us what it's called again? Um we have Korean beef bulgogi and uh, herb rice, so people can usually say green rice. Okay. Yeah. Korean beef bulgogi. Yes. Okay. Let me try some together with the rice. Yeah. I'm not used to eating with a spoon. I like eating with a fork. But anywho, so chef, you go up. You want to let a fork? Very nice, very very nice, chef Maliha. Thank we you. celebrate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for gracing the breakfast show here on Citizen TV. Yeah. Of course. Um, a very incredible story and more so the strength of a woman and what you've taught other women across the world and here in Kenya about resilience, yeah. pursuing your dreams and passion at yes. the end of the day. Yes. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me here. That's it for now. My name is Lillian Muli. I've been with Celebrity Chef. I am so starstruck, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I hope you've enjoyed the show. We've been cooking and we've learned so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your viewing. Good morning.